Now that we've looked at the Gladiator, let's see how to accessorize it. The saying, it's a Jeep thing, isn't just a saying, it's about a lifestyle. Every Jeep owner likes to accessorize their Jeep a little bit differently. We know a couple guys that really know how to accessorize a Jeep. Let's go check them out. Tell us about TerraFlex. What do you guys do? Why should somebody come to TerraFlex for their off-road vehicle? Well, there's a big question, okay? <laughs> so, TerraFlex is a, uh, we're actually a Utah company. It's a, a family-owned business. Yep. So we're one of the one of the few holdouts still. Yes. But we do, uh, shoot, Jeeps. We do Jeeps. Jeeps. Okay, sure. so that, that's our thing. Yep. Um, and we've just focused really on the Wrangler in the last few years. So the Wrangler, the JK, you know, we still have the TJ guy, TJ Wrangler. Right. So all of those kinds of things are there. But the thing that we like to do is uh, provide a product that number one has to work, but it has to work off the road as well as on the road. Yep. Let's face it. Yeah, yep. we all drive our Jeeps on the road. Yes. You know? So we try Take to have a <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we try to have a suspension system that'll that'll work in, in both of those areas. And that, that's kind of a trick, because yes. to get them to drive good on the road, uh, you know, you could do that, or you could make it drive off-road well, but right. to do them both, to it's do kind both. of a trick. Yes. So that's kind of our forte, to get one that you can drive to the trail, be safe, happy with, drive it to work the next day, uh, run it up and down the road, so we do that. So um, we have a lot of different products. We started out, um, with, with a coil spring lift for a TJ way back in the day. Right. And then it's just built up to, you know, we have axles, suspension, brakes, um, and now the new Falcon shock line. So okay. we're building uh, Jeep specific shocks um, for, well, for the Jeeps, for the trucks, for everything up and down the line. Uh, one of the things we did is, uh, We've always worked with some great shock companies, and they're you know great co companies out there. But we wanted a shock that would do some things for us that uh, some of they just they couldn't do for us because like ah we can't make that for you. You guys aren't going to sell enough. The volume isn't there. Whatever. Right. So we made specific you know like our JK shocks. We started out left side, right side, uh, two door, four door tune. Yep. Yep. You know really specifically tuned. That's what's really made that take off. When did you start those? Uh, it's been like. What's that been? Three years now? Okay. We started doing the, the Falcon. We yep. build them all in-house. I remember when we started, we thought about doing it. We're like, we're going to buy a bunch of CNC mills and uh -huh. lays and stuff yeah. and just start building shocks. How do you even do that? Right. Wow. Well, you ought to see it now. That's working. Know? Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty dang cool. Those guys, uh, you know, you can just, the assembly area is so spotless. And yep. And it's just cool because they're build them all in house. Yeah, uh, you do. You know, even right all the fixtures on her, all machined there and everything. It's uh, it's uh, it's been quite an endeavor. So. so tell us what you have here. What frame is this number one? Okay, this this is a JL frame. Yeah, okay. We just okay. went out and bought one. Yeah. Like just a frame. All right. And then we just uh, what are you cleaned it up because the you... welds were off. <laughs> <laughs> what are you showing off here today? What new products? What do you have going? Okay. Today? Uh, front end. This is uh, our Terra 60. Okay, so we have the 60s front and rear under it. Okay. We did a couple of weird things on it. This side has got the full float eight lug, and the other side has got our five on five bolt pattern for a, for a JKJL. Okay. So we're just showing both sides on there. Types, yep. And same with the wheels, because this is our, our Nomad wheel that we did. You've, you've seen those, right? Where you you can you showed you this last this year. Yep, I drain that. it out. Yes. Yeah, so there's your air down. Fill yep. it back up. So yep. we've got those for eight lug now. That's new for this year. Yep. So um, then on the uh, the suspension, uh, our new IR bushings are the bushings that actually allow the arm to rotate around the bushing. It isn't a solid rubber bushing, so it gets rid of one of the load points on a bushing. It'll yep. rotate and not you know wind the bushing up before you twist it. Right. So anyway, long arm on this side, short arm on that side, uh, all the way back on it. Okay. Uh, Anything this, else you show me? Yeah, this long arm kit's a, a bolt-on, so that's oh, wow. that's a departure for us. Uh, these frames are really tricky to weld to, so we're uh, we changed them up to a to a bolt-on, which saves a lot of labor as well. There's the rear 60 on it. Um, 
and the Falcons. On the JLs, the shocks move to the outside of the frame, and so we're able to put the adjustments up on top I on see them. That. Yep. But you notice that one doesn't have the big old red knob on it. No. Nope. That's because that's our, our new ADAPs. So these are uh, elect electronically controlled. So oh we can God. switch from soft to firm with just flipping a switch. Really? Here's that's one over here. <laughs> so, so here's the switch. Okay. It's going to be a little, it goes up in the, in the grab handle. That switch goes up and has this little piece that goes in there. So there's the switch. It goes soft, firm, and auto. So three different settings. Yeah, so the auto setting, there's actually a, an, uh, an accelerometer in there. So as soon as your Jeep hits a bump, it senses it and it says, oh, we need to firm that shock up so that you can, you know, it isn't going to bottom out and whatever. Yeah. yeah. So you can, uh, or even if you go around a turn, you can be nice and cushy having your nice ride, but yeah. then you want to rally that turn right. instantly beefs them up. You can make the rally turn. Auto for that. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, so trying to make these shocks so that they're not so hard to deal with. You just put it on auto and it works. I like it. So, yeah, lots of fun stuff on this one this year. Um, well, you guys are doing really exciting things. Of course, I'm a little biased. You guys are right in our backyard, but, <laughs> um, you know, made in America. Like you said, family-owned business. Yeah. That's, that's awesome, but yeah. Build all the axles in house. Yeah. I mean, you guys have always been out there with some great products and add to your line every year of what you can yeah. do for people. So that yeah, is amazing. It does keep on growing. Keep on growing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, thank you for it's your time. It's been good. Oh, thank you, guys. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Ready? Ready? This is the year of the Gladiator. We've been waiting for a long time for a Jeep truck. It's here. If you're looking for a Gladiator, you've got one. You're ready to accessorize it, add suspension, do all do the shocks, everything. Yeah. What, what else can you do for a Gladiator? It's rolling. Oh, we got the full lifts for them. Yeah. Um, yeah. We even got the arms and stuff. Are they'll be here really quick, and then we'll have full everything four inch all the way down. The other ones are already in place. So yep. yeah, we're, we're coming up to speed fast on the Gladiator. These guys have been around for a long time doing Wranglers and other Jeeps. Yeah. But now the Gladiator, a lot of people out there buying it. Yeah. Come to these guys for your Gladiator needs.